I'll tell you the tale of Tinuvia, said Strider, in brief, for it is a long tale which the end is not known. There are none now except Elrond that remember it aright as it was told of old. He was silent for some time, and then he began not to speak, but to chant softly. The leaves were long, the grass was green, the hemlock umbels tall and fair, and in the glade a light was seen of stars in shadow shimmering. Tinuviel was dancing there them to music of a pipe and sea. The light of stars was in her hair and in her ring flickering. There Berin came from mountains cold and lost he wandered under leaves and where the elven river rolled he walked alone and sorrowing. He peered between the hemlock leaves and saw in wonder flowers of gold upon her mantle and her sleeve and her hair like shadow following. Enchantment healed his weary feet that over hills were doomed Forty paces strong and faint and grasped with moon beams glistening. Through woven woods and elven homes she lightly fled on dancing feet, left him lonely still to roll the sand of the forest and the sea. Off the flying sound of feet as light as linden leaves, or music welling underground in hidden hollows quavering. Now withered lay the hemlock sheaves, and one by one with sighing sound. Beaten leaves and winter with her wavering. He sought her ever wandering far where leaves of years were thickly strewn, by light of moon and ray of star in frosty heavens shivering. Her mantle glinted in the moon as on a hilltop high and far she danced, and as her feet were strewn a mist of silver glory. When winter passed, she came again, and her song released the sudden spring rising lark and falling rain and melting water bubbling. He saw the elven flower spring about her feet and heal again. He longed by her to dance and sing in the grass and trembling. Again she fled, but swift he came to Nuviel, to Nuviel, he called her by her elvish name, and there she halted, listening. One moment stood she and a spell her, his voice lay down. Therein came and doom fell on to Nuviel in his arms and glistening. As Beren looked into her eyes within the shadow of her hair, the trembling starlight of the skies, he saw that mirrored shimmering. Tinuviel the elven fair, immortal maiden, elven wise, about him cast her shadowy hair and arms like silver glittering. Long was the way that fate them bore o'er stony mountains golden gray. Through halls of iron and darkling door and woods of nightshade and moralism. The sundering seas between them lay, and yet at last they met once more. And long ago they passed away in the forest singing sorrowless.